are videoing, and I'm actually recording on a phone, but we have all this space to go back. You see all the way down there? There is a mailbox, and, and we, can, we can't go past that. We can also go back there and all that, but it's going to be a crazy day. And I also brought my sister here. Um, and we're just going to try to find a lot of animals. Doesn't matter if it's small. Doesn't matter if it's huge. We're going to bring them to you and show you and tell you. Show you and tell you the description of them. So, let's go. So, if you don't know already, there is the rock. If you haven't watched my slug video, can he find it? Um, but this is the rock. And uh, here, Brooklyn, can you hold this, please? Mm -hmm. And this is the rock down here. Point it down there. A uh, little further down. Yeah. And keep it like that. Let's see if lots of worms like the last video. Lots. I still don't see a slug. So let's carefully put that back. But got oh sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um we also didn't check down here last time. So let's do that. I can't really see, but is there anything down there? I'm gonna be mad if there is whenever I go back and look at this video. So we're walking and we're just gonna try to find animals. We're going and we're just traveling. I'll get back to you whenever we find something interesting. So we're actually traveling back now. Muddy water. I bet you there's some stuff down there in that muddy water. Is there anything? Nothing. I haven't been able to find stuff in a while now. He just flew past me. Well, we actually flipped over a cone and found two slugs actually. So I'm actually going to grab this slug right here. Oh, right there. Yeah. Trying to get it to focus there. Let's walk back. Whew. That sleds are slow. Is it going? Okay. Um, well, as you know, in my last video, I was trying to find a slug, but I didn't find one. And just traveling over there, I found a cone. And I was like, hey... I found a black widow under a cone one time. A lot of bugs live there. There's actually a lot more stuff, such as beetles and even little baby flies. But one thing that I found so cool about finding, about flipping over that cone, I found two slugs. And Brooklyn was afraid to hold the other one. So, let's go. These slugs are super cool. If you put salt on them, they will die, so please do not put salt on them. There's like a hole. There is? Yeah. Right there. Let me focus focus in where? It's on this side. Oh yeah, there is a hole. I actually don't know what that is. It closes up and it reopens. That is so weird. See? Yeah. That is so cool. What is that from? Is that like it breathes or something? This is so cool. 
Ew. I got mucus. For size comparison, we have this quarter. We also have this slug. These, this is the size comparison of both of them. What is the coolest thing you found out today? Let's move to a different spot. Put the slug back up and talk about the slug. So a slug is a helpful creature in the environment eating plants and plants. They're vegetarians, guys. And this is actually, that slug is actually not a caterpillar. It's a creature that has no legs. But fun fact, did you know that the slug, the average slug has over 1,000 little teeth in its mouth? Now, why doesn't it bite you? Like the granddaddy long leg, their teeth are too small to bite you in. So you can't really see them or feel whenever they bite you. So what we learned today is that slugs are helpful in the environment. I'm Damian Smith. Be adventurous. Go outside and make new discoveries. Down, down.